adversaries. Okay. Alright. Come on. There we go. That's good. Um, I said what? Seven? Seven bad guys? Is that what I said? Uh... <laughs> you, oh, you he totally said one. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, you um, know what? Go ahead, Remy. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Just, <worried. laughs> Just contemplating. Um. Yeah, one of these can act as a captain. I'm not worried about seven ones. Two, three. Five, six. I'm gonna smash a few myself. Okay, so that ought to be just right now. Let me make this dark. If you're and... not a frontline fighter, take a Defensive or yeah, I've, I've actually got some cards for you guys uh, that we can use. Uh, you know the, the cards that came with 2nd Edition? I've, yep. I've scanned them into the system, and I can use yeah. them as tiles. You guys just need to tell me what you want to do. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so, let's see. I'm going to preload this. Preload the scene. And... Okay, preload. Come on. Come on, you can do this. It's a good boy. Okay, and then activate, which should pull all of you guys over. Uh oh, it may pull everybody over. <laughs> okay, so I need to actually move. Oh, crap. <sighs> okay, so I need to go to the other scene and pull Radigan back to to that scene. Hang on. Okay, so Radigan, pull the scene. Okay, now I can come back to you guys. Do okay. you do you see the map? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. You can move our, our little tokens by pushing the arrows. Yes, Proceed. yes you can. Yes you can. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. It's been a little while since I've done combat in this game. Um Let's see, you guys do not outnumber the orcs, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they are too far away from you. Um, yeah, let's see, let me pop open the goblin archers. Come on, come on, that's a good boy. Uh, let's see. Bow of Horn. Do I have a range on the Bow of Horn? I know I need to select a token to attack. Okay, in this game, just so that you guys know, you have to... Oh, I can't roll it yet. You have to select a token, and that's done by double-right-clicking. Um, okay, what's, what's the distance here? And I'll try and just do it that way. Okay. Um, so, measuring tool... Hey guys, stop moving around, please. Twenty meters. Yeah, um, I'm not moving. Yeah. So twenty okay. meters. That's going to be at medium range. So what about this guy? And let's see. Uh, I can't see because okay, that's twenty-five meters. So that's going to be at long range. So this guy up here, I'm going to try and let's see. Since Dewota has put herself out front. Uh, I am going to... Lucky me. Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> you get... Oh, hey. Well, you're, the one, you're the one moving around and not looking at the right <laughs> Okay, oh, for heaven's sake. Can't... Hang on a second. Me. <laughs> okay, let me get everybody into the encounter, including the bad guys. Come on, bad guys. Okay... And get them into the encounter. Okay. So. And let's see. Opening volley. Do 
any of you have uh hello are you going to start there we go uh so opening volley all right now let, let's kind of run through real quick uh a little bit of training for this um if you look at the second tab from the left it looks like a fist uh and and click on that you'll see norin ild luthwin and duota up top okay uh and you guys have the ability uh to select your stances by left clicking on your token and then right clicking um let's see so if i'm looking at norin and i right click uh oh where's your stances at what the hell is it that aura thing or um it shouldn't be let's see that's targeting that's zero the aura oh, thing you know, like yeah oh uh, no as the facts wounded uh let's see poisoned no it doesn't have them in there uh i know for the first edition game they have it so that you can actually pick from this um uh from this my, uh, tab but all right my token just vanished your token just vanished you shouldn't have yeah i'm not on the map anymore i uh try and refresh uh, i see you just fine uh, uh maybe you. yeah something happened oh <clears throat> uh, it logged me out of the game okay well take a moment and log back in yeah. you're still here so yeah. Now, where is that? Update combatant. How do you update the combatant? Does it give you the opportunity? No, it does not. Hidden, defeated. That's weird. Okay, that's okay, because I've got those cards, and I'm going to go ahead and grab, like, four of them. One, two, oh, I, it only allows me to do it one at a time. So, one, uh, two... Come on. Three. And then four. Okay. Okay. It's S rounded us? Huh? No, no, no. No, those cards are your are for your stances. Uh, mm -hmm. You have... Uh, you're you're going to oh. have stances that you can choose. There's forward, open, and defensive, which are your close combat stances, and then there's rearward. Okay? Now... The title that is on the bottom that, that you can read is is what you're going to be in, but it's up to you each turn to tell me what uh, what type of uh, stance your character is in. Okay. Uh, now these stances do not apply to the bad guys; only to you. Okay, uh, and they help right. determine target numbers for hitting. Um, for example, if you're in forward stance, you gain one dice to your two hit, but any enemies that are, are in forward with you also gain uh, a dice to hit you. Uh, if you are open, there's no change. Uh, it's just normal rolls. If you are in defensive stance, um, uh, you lose one dice to hit, but they also lose one dice to hit. Um, for rearward, you have to have at least one more bad guy or, or one more good guy than bad guy uh, in forward stance in order to be able to to do rearward. Now, I don't agree with the way that, that uh, rearward is done for the miniatures game. So um, if you, uh, for instance, there are seven bad guys over there, you can do... Um, uh, you could have one person in rearward, but the rest of you have to be in close combat stances. Okay. Um, so I, I don't understand how to, I don't understand. Get an opening volley, though. Oh yeah. We're going to get an opening volley. I just got to determine how in the hell, uh, you guys are supposed to be able to determine your stances. Yeah. It doesn't look like it. It wasn't. All right, I know you said you scan the, the turns in. Yeah, but you guys can't uh, use them. I have to change them. Yeah. Okay. 
And and what'll happen is um, if you guys get kind of further apart, for, far enough apart, we'll put your token on your card to to kind of of let you know what's going on. You, the two have to still be moved separately, but that's what it is. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so you can you guys can barely perceive the bad guys, um, but they can perceive you pretty well because of the the torch. Okay, but. Any of you who have a bow that you can use, um, you know what? Hang, hang on a second. Let me let me do this. Hey, Ginger. Yes. If you want to pop up to the to you know to the tour two E while these guys are in their combat rounds, you can do that and just kind of listen in. Okay. You okay. Want, all right. I'll, if you're up there, you're up there. If you're not, that's fine too. I'll be here as soon as I can. Okay. <laughs> you you are, you guys are quite a distance. A okay, you've got a bow. Uh, anybody with a bow is allowed to send a, a volley that way. But here's the problem: it is dark, and it is most likely medium range. If you have a regular bow, it is definitely uh, medium range. Um, uh, if it's 25 meters or more, it's going to be long range. So each uh, range setting beyond short is going to be a, an additional penalty of two. So what you'll what you're doing is you're literally rolling against your body score or your strength score. I mean, um, plus a penalty for the for the token that you've chosen, which will be automatically determined. Okay. Um, don't forget, you can go in in the left hand area here. You can go and use your measurement tool to determine how far away you are. Like, for instance, you old. Uh, do you see my my little uh, uh, thing reaching out there? It says you're 22 meters. So you're still in medium range. Okay. Um. Okay, so who wants to shoot first? Uh, I'm down to shoot first. Okay. Let's do this. So, uh, uh, Luthwin, you spoke up first, so go ahead. So just roll bow. Combat. combat uh, let's see. Luth. Uh, whoa, 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 wow. Uh, so what was your distance? Did you measure that? Oh, uh, no. Sorry, I forgot. Let me measure that real quick. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, good. Darn it. I know it's hard to see them. Screen. No, I see them. I see them perfectly well. Uh huh. So that one's 28 meters right there. Yeah, so that's going to be long yeah, range. 28 meters. That one's long 26, range. Short, short, or medium, medium, 13. medium. <laughs> so 28's the long? Uh, tw uh, anything 25 or more is going to be long for you. Uh, I, I need to get out my... Oh. Okay, hang on a second. They, they actually put the, the weapon chart in the combat section where it should be. So let's see. Uh, okay, a bow. For a regular bow, short is 10 plus your sh basic strength. Uh, medium is 20 plus your basic strength. And then long is 30 plus your basic strength. So look up your strength for your bow and you can find out what your range is in meters or yards. The game uses yards, actually. So... Uh... So and I'm going to try and begin this combat. That information? What's that again? Or would I get that information? Okay, it's on your uh, character sheet. I know that I no attribute. Uh, which one is it? The five or the thirteen? Um. Oh. Um. Oh. 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 It's going to be the five. So um, medium range for you is actually going to be out to twenty-five. So. so. A 22. So, yeah, that's within. Oh, hey. Shift turn? I just did this. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. Open rearward. Wait a minute. 
Or, oh, you have to double right click on your target before you can go, before you can shoot. Okay. Double right click. Mm hmm. Uh. Uh, since it's start, do I get a bonus die from that? By the way, I searched the PDF. Mm -hmm. There's no build ranges in the PDF. Okay, that it's pisses just, me off. I don't... It, it might be more abstract, you know. Uh, so, again, uh, since it's start, do I get my plus one die? What the hell? Um... Yeah, actually, you do. Okay. And rolling. Okay. There we go. Great success. Okay, great success. So, uh, let's see. That means... Okay, so you get your basic bow damage um, uh, plus... Why didn't it automatically do your damage? It was supposed to have automatically done your damage, too. That's very interesting. Why was that taken out? Okay, so here... Oh, that's right! That's why! Okay, so the damage in this game is more abstract, and I've lost the combat pages. Um... Oh, no! So, you're going to get your basic bow damage, which, if I recall correctly, is 5. Three. Um, I'm sorry, 3? Yep, and injury 14. Injury 14. Now, let's see. You only rolled a... I, I found the honor for you. Did you? On the, on the arena. Concerning no ranges. Okay. But well... We'll look at that at some point. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm trying to set up my big GM screen on this itty-bitty tiny table. Um... Okay, so you are in rearward stance, and let's see. I, f I finally figured out how to rotate that. Um, okay, so I am in... Okay, here we go. Combat sequence opening volleys at the start of a battle. The sides involved in the confrontation are still separated by a distance, potentially allowing for a brief exchange of volleys using ranged weapons before combat at close quarters is initiated. The lore master must now determine how many volleys to allow, if any at all, based on the circumstances of the fight as defined during onset. Okay. Um, under most circumstances, all combatants are entitled to at least one volley using a bow or a thrown weapon, i.e. a spear or a short spear, if the two sides are separated by a greater distance, which you guys kind of are, uh, then the lore master might allow combatants using a bow to let loose two volleys or even more. Um, all volley attacks are resolved as normal ranged attacks. Um, player heroes carrying a shield double its parry modifier uh, if aware of the incoming uh, attack. A hero advancing to join a confrontation definitely would be. Uh, let's see, normally the volley exchange is resolved with the player heroes launching their volleys first unless the lore master considers the circumstances to favor the opposition, which I do not. It's all going to happen at the same time. When the opening volleys are completed, the combatants cover the distance that separates them and begin fighting at close quarters. I am going to give everybody a second round of volley, but there's going to be movement first. Okay, so um, Luthwin... Uh, you just fired, but you are also able to move a basic allowance equal to your body, which I believe is five. Uh, wait, what do you mean by body? Okay, or I'm sorry, your strength. Your character's strength. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh. She just brought okay. me cheesecake with pineapple and chocolate. Ooh. But yeah, I believe you said your strength is... Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah. We're jealous of your cheesecake. Okay, Duota, how did you change your your um your your stance? I am honestly not sure. Um I just double oh. left clicked my character. Oh, sheet. I found Okay, what uh, okay. I'm not sure what. I don't know why it's suddenly there now, but I now I can too. Where? It's just right click. 
I, and it's... Yeah, go to your character token and double left click. Oh, no, let double right left click. Right click, right click. Will, right um, click. My right bad. Click. Go to your token right and double right click. click. Go to a token and double right click. Okay, I've got to go to the correct layer for this. And then I'm going to look at uh, Noreen. I just right click once and then. Oh, there it is. Now. I'll be darned. Okay. So. Did I just not see it before? Uh, I didn't see it before either. Okay, so you're not the only one. I think I can uh, click bow with that uh, guy highlighted, and that might do the damage. Okay, so all you have to do is single right click on the icon in the lower right hand corner. And it brings up your, your ability to choose your stance. Forward, open, defensive, and rearward. So starting with this next round, which will also be volley, we'll, everybody's still going to be in rearward, but we'll determine stances after that. Okay? Um, okay. Let me make sure about this. Luthwin, you double right-clicked on the uh, archer token so that you could shoot, right? Right. It has the four orange arrows. Okay. The four orange arrows for you, it's just got a dot for me, which is what it's supposed to have. Um, and then you shot. You got a great success. Um, now, in this game, you're going to do the basic damage. Let me uh, go up here. I'm trying to do too much at once again. No, I didn't want to open that up. That's all right. Wow, this is running slow. Okay, so in, its endurance is still at 8. So its endurance was not reduced, which I don't I understand. I think I might have clicked the wrong thing. Uh, I clicked proficiency, you know, combat proficiencies instead of the weapon itself. Okay. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and reduce that for right now on that goblin archer. Um, and... I'm going to go ahead and close that. It shouldn't need to be open at all. Now... So wait, how much damage did it take? So far, you've taken three. It's taken three. Now, here's the deal. In this game, uh, in, in second edition, you have the ability to spend your extra... Um, let's see, action resolution. Uh, let's see. So that's main actions and secondary actions. Uh, other actions, lore master actions, resolving attacks. So it lost three points of endurance, but it has not taken a a a, 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 a blow yet. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, a piercing blow, special damage. Okay. They say that the combatant that strikes the first blow, if they strike it hard enough, may not may need to strike no more. So here's the deal. If a successful attack roll produces one or more success icons, which yours did, okay, you can they can be used to trigger one or more special results based on the war gear of the attacker. So you can do a heavy blow, which is good for any weapon. You have hit your opponent with great force and precision, spin one success icon to inflict to your adversary an additional loss of endurance equal to your strength rating, which would be another five points. Uh, raise the loss of endurance by an additional plus one if you were using a two-handed weapon. A bow or, or great bow are not considered two-handed weapons in this particular instance. Uh, okay. For bows, spears, and swords, swords, you could also do a piercing blow. You have hit a less protected part of the adversary's body. Spend one success icon to modify the feat die numerical result of your attack by plus two if using bows. Now, you rolled a seven, so that would only get you a nine. Um, I need to pop open your character. And uh, Luthwin and see if your bow has anything special to it that allows it to get a, 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 a heavy blow on a 9 or better instead of a 10. So let's see. Come on. Close fitting armor. Where are the weapons? Uh, it says it's uh, two-handed and the uh, details. Yeah, damage 3, injury 14, load 2. Let me pop this open. And see, uh, let's see, short range. See, it gives you your ranges in here. 
10, 20, 30. Oh. It, it, gave, it gives you the ranges in here. 10, 20, 30, which are exactly what they're supposed to be, plus your strength. So you can modify your ranges based on your strength. Okay. Okay. Uh, damage, injury, load. Group is bows. Okay, so they don't have like a piercing blow here. Um, your injury was not increased, and you're right, it, it does say two-handed. Um, because you have to use two hands to be able to fire from it. But that applies, the two-handed thing applies more to melee weapons than to bows. Okay. So, uh, let's see, what else can you do? Okay, that's it. So you could do a pierce. Uh, but it only modifies your value by two, and you have to get a ten, uh, a ten or a Gandalf's rune in order to get a piercing blow. So the pierce is not going to help you here. So if you want, you can spend that icon to do a heavy blow, which will uh, put five more uh, damage uh, on that bad guy. Heavy blow. Heavy blow. Okay. So let me pop him open. Right click, and that is going to take him down to zero, uh, which drops him. He's done. Okay, you okay. guys, all of you guys hear like a squeal, uh, and then uh, you hear more or less a body drop to the ground. Okay, so Luthwin, that oh, is you. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's uh, one for me. Let's see, toggle visibility. I don't want to. Okay, um, there's no way to move you guys along. So let's see. We just did... Is that it? There we go. So we just finished with Luthwin. Okay. Uh, who wants to go next? Well, I don't have a missile a... weapon, so... Okay, so Eult. I've got a bow. Okay. Yes, sir. So go ahead. And uh, so... what's your distance? It's oh, wait, I didn't move. Uh, a great bow. Yes, that's right. You can so move up to five. To hmm? So would I be able? Would I be able to hit the goblin archer at twenty-eight meters, or would I have to move some? Are you talking about this one here? Yeah, the other archer that's farther out. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. Uh, it's twenty-eight meters. What is your strength? Yeah. My strength. Do you need the uh, the smaller number or the so it's a, it'd be a three for me actually my strength. Uh, your strength is a three, so your medium maximum is twenty three, which means this would be long range for you, so a penalty of four. So let me let me see how that works. Mm -hmm. I don't I know I don't have Bjorner on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and oh it won't let me roll unless I choose an icon. Okay. Okay, so let's see. If I go to pop open, if I go to roll the bow, he doesn't have a bow. So I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a great spear and say, yeah, I I would need to select one to attack, and I would have to have a token on the board. And this is a real pain in the butt not being able to do this. So, um, Yule, first off, and and I forgot to do this. You in second edition, you have two actions that you can do: a simple action and a main action. Okay, now uh, let me kind of define those for you. A main action is a task that requires a hero's full attention. It is generally used to make an attack roll or to complete a combat task like those described on page 102. Secondary actions are faster, simpler undertakings or tasks that can be accomplished while focusing on a main action. So examples of main actions are recovering your position after a knockback, recovering your weapon, helm, or shield that was previously dropped, carrying a fallen comrade to safety. I don't necessarily agree with that one and moving across the battlefield and so on okay so i guess main actions are movement and uh like firing uh, examples of secondary actions include advancing or retreating while fighting you can advance according to your base strength you can also fire a bow during the same round or make an attack or one of those other things okay and we'll we'll keep going over that as we need to um okay. so if you want to move Yuld forward three spaces, you can still attack at range, and that may help bring your target into closer range, if that's what you want to do. You can either move first or move last. I'm going to go ahead and move 
first. Okay, so you're up on a rock, and uh, that takes uh, that took off what uh, three meters, so that puts you at twenty five. I guess that's still long range, isn't it? It's still technically long range because my strength's only three. So okay, so go ahead and roll your bow, not the combat proficiency, but the bow. Unless the bows are in parentheses. If the bows are in parentheses, then you have to roll your combat proficiency, which is just silly. Um, but that's what it is. And you you will actually have a penalty of four, and it should automatically take into account your target's parry. All right, so I need to double-click on it first, right? Right-click. Double right click on your target. Got that. And then so click on your weapon. All right. And then you said I got a penalty of what was it again? Uh, minus four. Minus four. Okay. Is Actually, it... I'm only going to give you a minus two this time because I didn't give uh, Luthwin a penalty. All right. Minus two for the penalty. And. There you go. Unfortunately, that goes straight to dice, doesn't it? Um, you got a what? You you rolled a three. You know what? Okay, so here here's what we need to do. I'm I'm looking at at uh, Bjarner's attack roll. The target number is what has to be adjusted, uh, not the bonus and penalty dice. So oh, yeah. yeah, so your target number is going to be a 14 um, for the range and everything. Actually, let's see. Yeah, a 14 for the range. Uh, but the parry of the bad guy should automatically be taken into account, if I understand how this system works right. So go ahead and, and change your target number to a 14 and roll that again. I got it. Okay. Also the minus two, right? Uh, no, 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 it, no it, it's actually a penalty two. of two, so it, it actually makes the target number higher. So that becomes a 14. Okay, so you want me to just do a, a straight roll? Yeah. Yep. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, that's... It, it's still a failure, Better. but at least it shows yeah, you sure. why. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you want to try and throw hope at that? Do you have the ability to do so? Your strength is three, oh. so you would need... Okay, with the parry on the archer, you're, you're still going to be th uh, at least three away. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so for, it's a miss for you. Hope. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So the target number has to be adjusted instead. Now, let me go back to the combat board. Uh, Duota, did you want to be oh. able... Did you want to be able to... Um, there we go. Got that one. Did you want to be able to try and shoot, or do you even have a bow? I do not even have a bow. Okay. Now, why didn't uh, that go... Duota, is your sword one-handed or two-handed? I have an axe and a dagger. Do you want to hold on to the torch? Because aren't you like a human? I can see in the dark. Yeah, Duota is is uh kind of hard pressed there. He he's dead. Why did that marker? Okay, he. <sighs> Remove combatant because that one doesn't need to be there anymore. Okay. Uh, so how do I look into whether or not my axe is one-handed or two-handed? Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I, okay. So you're gonna go over. Oh, uh, like oh, hold your cursor over your <coughs> uh, weapon, and then you're gonna go over to where that's there's little notepad and trash can icons at the very right end. Click on the little notepad Hit thing. Hit the notepad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Click okay. that. We'll edit your. It will allow you to edit your item, and then I'll tell you all the information in there, and the details. All right. So my weapon is two-handed. My weapon okay. is two-handed. Okay. All right. So, so you, you can't hold the torch. 
Got it. Well, so she, close she could hold the torch until she enters combat. <laughs> but then she's going to have to drop the torch and have uh, two, you know, put two hands on the, the weapon to use it. Now, wait a minute. You have a torch? Yeah. I was the one carrying the torch, yes. Okay, Luthwin is the one that was carrying the torch. Did you hand it off to Duota? Yeah, you were no. ahead and drop it anyway to fire the bow. So. I could set it down and then pick it back up. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, it's not like you're going to burn the grasses here or anything like that. Uh, so that's the only two that have bows? Yep. So then it's my turn. Um... Oh, yeah, let me remove that. Uh, because Bjarner is no... Oh, Bjarner is there, but I'm going to delete Bjarner because he's not actually in the fight. Um, Bjarner is still in that uh, combat tracker. Uh, yes, let's remove him from the combat tracker. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. <clears throat> so let's see, it's that one. Um... Why so won't it let me just select him in the combat tracker? You're just doing your opening volley then, right? Yeah, I, it's just an opening volley here. Because <clears throat> we oh. haven't, you know, had a chance to move or do anything else. Well, so. actually, um, if you're not able to uh, uh, do an opening volley, you are welcome to move up to your strength value if you have I not already moved. Okay. Well, it's not really that high of a rock. It's just a large flat, not flat, but it, you can take some cover, but it's not going to help a whole lot. Okay. No, I mean, I'm wearing heavy armor anyway, so. Some cover's better than no cover. Some yep. cover's better than no cover. Exactly. Um, also, I can help defend you while you're shooting your arrows. 23, 20, you're both 23. So, um,. And both of you have bows. So this guy is going to target... Nope, uh, Duodo doesn't have a bow. Oh, that's right. Duodo does not have a bow, but you do. Yep. So not like this guy can really see. Now, he is going to be at a penalty. So um, let's see. I want to make sure if this guy hits you. Um, maybe. There we go. Okay. So, Goblin Archer, uh, Bow of Horn, let's get that opened up, got a target, ooh, so let, let me see something, um, Luthwin, what is your parry score? Uh, let's see, parry, 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 18. Yes, it automatically accounts. But it does not account for Nightfall, so he is at long range, so that's going to be 22 target number. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so that counts as a zero for him. He's got a 10. He misses. Um, you know what? Why am I still on blind GM rolls? Public roll. Okay. Uh, so did you guys see that? Reveal to yeah. everyone. There we go. It should be revealed now in the chat. Okay, so that is his ability, but he is going to move, and I got to move all of these guys, except for the dead one. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, Have fun! Oh, yeah. Okay, what I've got is... You know what? I can pop them open from here, and it'll be easier to deal with. Okay, so that's a three. Orcs. Uh, okay, so Goblin Archer is two Orc Soldiers, three. The Orc Guard is four. So he is not going anywhere. One, two, three. Okay, that one's an Orc Soldier. One, two, three. Okay, uh, Orc Soldier, one, two, three. Goblin Archer is only two. He's going to stay, let's see, one and two. And then this guy can move four. One, two, 
three. Wait a minute, where am I at? Hold on. One, two, three, and down one or four. I, why is it not allowing me to do that? I'm not move. I'm not able to move with these guys. Oh, hey, there's one more orc soldier. Two, three. Okay, so these guys kind of move down. Um, and this brings us to our next round. Uh, they still outnumber you, so technically they're supposed to have the um, initiative. However, since you guys are ahead, does it go round two? Okay. Duota, can you do anything? Uh, I'm not close enough to use my axe. Okay, would you like to move? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and move. How far would I be able to move? Well, it's equal to your strength. Um. You know what? Give me a second, guys. I'm going to take a minute and... You can move five. I, I did not count on this being dark, okay? Uh, I didn't count on you guys having to do this in the dark. So let's change the grid color a little bit. And I think that will help out. Uh, save changes? I, did it help? No, of course it didn't. What's that? I can see just fine. Uh, I usually keep my uh, screen brightness to about like 20% uh, total. So yeah. I just turn that up. Oh, uh, okay. I, and I, I, have, I have mine on dark mode, so I'm going to have to change it. Well, not yeah, necessarily. When, when it's at 20, I could not see. But now that it's at 100, there well, we go. 50. Okay, can you perfect. see that better? Uh, Hang on. Save and changes. How's that? I mean, I guess. It, it's it's kind of a blue. Different. It's blue green yeah, now. Blue now. Okay, I can brighten it up a little bit. Hang on. I wow. can see the grid clearer now at my at lower brightness. Setting, grid opacity. Oh, wrong way. You wrong don't way. See, you don't see people any better. No, you're not supposed to see people any better, but you can see the grid better so that you oh, can move. Okay. There we go. Okay. go. Alright, so okay. Duota, you can move. You should be able to move 13. with your keyboard, but... My strength is 13. Does that mean I can move 13 squares? No, no, no. That's oh, your target five. number. You want you want the smaller number uh, in there. Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> it's five. It, you, you've got it's a five. So, let's see. That's about face. Indicator distance. Five. Okay. Enable so token I can move indicators. five squares. Yes. Yep. Indicator icon. Change the A. Lock indicator rotation, not doing that. Snap indicator to closest tile. Uh, lock rotation, flip horizontal facing right. Lock vision to rotation. You should be able to use your your arrow keys to move on your keyboard. Oh, you can. Good. I'm glad somebody can I because I that. sure can't. Okay. So, Duota, that is you. Um, yes. All right, Norin. Uh, Kat, you just moved like one. Yes, I just moved one. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. I only want to move one. Norin, are you staying where you're at? I was just showing that I know how to move. <laughs> well, I didn't want to run out there and be surrounded. So, okay, no problem. Um, I am. I am going to um, move to the front of the rock. Okay. Fair enough. Basically, I want to have a defensible area. Okay. Good enough. That so, works. So I don't have them behind me and all around me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, then in that case, you old? I'm going to try to go for the same guy. Okay, so you're you're already checked in there. Uh, go ahead and and uh, do your thing. The target number that you have uh, should be twelve plus that archer's uh, parry. Let me look at that archer's parry real quick. 
Uh, Goblin Archer should have a parry of two, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, come on. Attribute level... Uh, no, he's got a parry of zero. So it's just the darkness that you're kind of dealing with there. Um, but you do have, if I'm not mistaken, you're still at medium range, right? 23, no. Yeah, there are 23. Yeah, that's you're, you're, medium range. That is the maximum of your medium range. So in, in this round, you're still going to be at a penalty of two. I forgot to take into account all of the penalties last time. That was my bad. But go ahead and roll with a target number 14. Okay. Ooh, that, great success. Good. Ooh. Good. That's a... Uh, okay, over here. Now let me pop open the roll formula to make sure what we got. Okay, so you got a great success. That means uh, your bow, your great bow, if I'm not mistaken, does five or seven? It does, it does uh, four damage. It does four damage. So this guy right here uh, is not that, Paul. You were supposed to right-click, you hippie. Uh, let's see. So that does four damage. And what do you want to do with your uh, success dice? You could do a heavy blow, which if you spend one success icon, you can raise that by your strength value, which if I recall correctly is three. Um, okay. Or you could, let's see, what was your, you only rolled a five there, seven, so you would not be able to pierce. Yeah, so it'd just be the heavy blow. Yeah. You want to go ahead and do that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that's going to set him down to one uh, as far as that goes. So he's a hurting unit. All right, uh, there you go. Yule attacks Goblin Archer using their Great Bow, uh, Shepherd's Bow, and deals seven damage. Okay, because you've got that, uh, which is exact. No, wait a minute. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's exactly what you okay, got. Okay, how do you... How do you do that? Uh, so it gave me a screen that says I could submit the fact that I did a, a heavy bonus and stays damage. Ooh, so, how did you get that? Did you right click on your character or something? It just it just popped up whenever I did it. Wow. Okay, that's cool. So like right like right after I got the roll, it gave me the prompt to either select the heavy blow or the the piercing attack, and I just left on the heavy. All right. So my question then becomes. Uh, did you use your your combat proficiency to click on, or did you use your weapon? I used my weapon. Okay. Okay, if you use your weapon, there you go. That's perfect. That's pretty wonderful. So uh, then you, the rest of you guys should be able to do that too. Uh, so what that is telling me is that you all did a really nice job. Luthwin, it is your turn. Okay. What does it mean if they're, like, in my short range? If it's in your short range, then you don't have any penalties, and you'll have a bonus dice, of course. Okay, then I'm going to go for this guy. Okay. There you go, and do your roll. And you're saying that's short range for you? Up oh, 18. Holy smokes. I, oh, uh, I've oh, only wait. got 16. So that's definitely in your short range. Oh, Eight, no, ten, that's ten, 15. At 15, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem. So then you've got a penalty of two for medium range. And I have not been taking into account darkness penalties, but I, I, I just... Have... I'm pretty sure elves can see in the dark, yes. Yes. So, and I actually get a, a D1 die. Yeah. Or dark, so, okay. So the difficulty is 15, correct? Uh, mm -hmm. Your difficulty should be 14. 14 your your target number should be 14, yeah. Okay, I wish it would show me the numbers. That would be nice. That way I don't... You know what, I'm going to pop this out. Come on, let me pop out. I can pop that out. Nine there damage. we go. Okay. Wait a minute. Move over. There we go. And then I can go back here. Wait a minute. Where'd my pop out go? I didn't close my pop out. 
chat log. I want the chat log popped out. Okay, nine damage. I like that. Um, but will it allow me to go back to the combat tracker now? There we go. This is a pain in the butt. I don't understand how, how it's so slow. I really don't. Okay. There. Now I've got all of you guys on there. Okay. So, 9 damage to yay fella. Now, did it actually take that damage away itself? So, no. probably did not. Okay. So, they've got... They've got hate. Hate, I tell you. Okay, um, that is what? That is an orc soldier. And they have a base of too much information being called up at the same time. Yeah, they've got 12 endurance. So this one still has three. Okay. Now, back to the combat tracker. Okay, so that was Luthwin. Nice shot. Okay. Thank you. The orc guard. Get over here. I know he can move, but I don't know how far. Mm. Oh, and also, I'm going to move up so Cat can still see. Okay. All right, so can I move in or do I have to wait till next turn? Well, hang on a minute. Next... I'm trying to get this orc guard to... I'm Now, uh, since the brook is the primary, I am going to save it as I didn't realize it was, it was that far. Basics. Okay. I got 16 gigs in this computer. I shouldn't be having these problems. Save changes. Okay, so we're going to we're going to call it for the night. Uh, the orc guard is in charge there, uh, and I'll figure him out for this next round. And then Ginger, uh, when that last goblin archer is dealt with, uh, <laughs> uh, then I will switch back over and uh, we will run with Radigan for a little while. I I wish you all a wonderful week. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Definitely. See you all next week. I had fun. I, I hope so. Bye, guys. I'm having I fun did. figuring things out, really. <laughs> and good luck. I'm not getting killed by orcs, people. Or yeah. goblins. Or they are. Ooh, Yay, ooh, not really. dying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ross, what were you trying to say? Dying. I said we'll win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's more for heavy armor. There you go. You've got yeah, a... a now wait a minute. A just, be... just because you're a dwarf in heavy armor doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win. I'm just I'm, I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> well, unless those guys brought a can opener with them. It... I mean I mean I'm mean, trusting my own friend. I trust in the friend. There she there you go. Killed. I mean we already almost killed two. We killed oh, yeah. one. No, one hand no, and two of them wounded. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Now I'm making it on to a lot more even by the time they hit those. That's, that's <laughs> the truth. Oh. That's true. I think I might have time for one more volley if they're going at their current speed. I think you, so. You know, you might. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what? We'll, we'll deal with that this coming, uh, this coming weekend. All right, my friends. I am going to bid you adieu and good night. And see you next week. See you next week. All right. See ya. Definitely next week.